I'm going to do the throttle body coolant bypass mod on this LT1. This is a 1995 Cadillac Fleetwood. And essentially all we're going to do is take this coolant line that goes to the bottom of the throttle body. Then it comes out to an elbow right here and goes to a line. We're going to eliminate it from going to the driver's side of the motor. And we're going to hook it around and just send it straight to the hard line on the passenger side. The main reason I'm doing this mod is just to clean up the engine bay. I did something similar when I deleted the air pump. I have a video for that. You can check that one out. I'll put a link in the description. But for this, again, not really for performance. I'm just trying to clean up the engine bay. So I'm going to get the intake out of the way just to make a little more room and make it easier to see. With the intake out of the way, we can see the coolant line going right here to this fitting at the bottom of the throttle body. Once I take off this hose, I'm just gonna cap this off with a rubber vacuum cap. And then you can see on this side, there's an elbow right here. And we're gonna remove this elbow. Again, we're gonna cap this with a rubber vacuum cap. And then we're gonna go right to the hard line, which is right here. This is what we're gonna to connect to. So it'll just be a straight V through here to there. So what I'm gonna do that's different, so I'm gonna to try to get this coolant hose to go through the opening and the alternator bracket. Now this edge is pretty rough. And I don't want it to put a hole in the hose. So I'm gonna use a rubber grommet and put it in here. That way it'll stop the hose from chafing and possibly leaking. have a vacuum cap covering the line on the driver's side. And I also have a vacuum cap right here covering the line on the passenger side. And we can see the coolant line going through the alternator bracket with the rubber grommet. And it comes through and goes to the hard line right here. So now I'm just gonna get everything back together, give this engine a quick rinse and we're good to go. Here is the finished product. As you can see, we have the coolant line going through the opening with the grommet. And then it goes right to the hard line. Right there, you can see the hose clamp. And that's pretty much it. And I did this pretty much for the same reason I did the air pump delete not necessarily for performance, but just to clean up the engine bay a little bit. The air pump was a big difference. Got that out of the way right here. And then it really cleans up the exhaust headers and just gets a lot of that junk out of the way. And for the coolant bypass mod, instead of having this hose go all the way across like it did before, just have it come here and tuck right through the alternator bracket. Just a cleaner look. If you found that video helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment. God bless you all.